video from Fred MSJT. Now I'm sorry guys, I have to be speaking quietly now. I can't be too loud. Um, uh, in this video, because no one else has done it, and because I just found out this online, I'm going to show you how to mask Just Dance coaches in the editing software DaVinci Resolve. Now I've already done it here with the Never Gonna Give You Up coach and uh, you know the the official music video. As you can see, it works right there. But we want to. I want to actually show you how to do it. So if I go home, I'm gonna uh, create an untitled project. If it works, let me say this. Let me say this. Wait. Come on, save. All right, saved. Now I can create a new project. I don't know what to name it, so I just need a test. <laughs> so I'm gonna go over to the media tab here, and I'm gonna insert my extraction coach, which is the never gonna give you up coach. And I'm pretty sure I don't have any other coaches. Okay, I don't, I don't want you to see my whole downloads folder. Uh, just wait for it to load in. So there it is. And uh, if I can, I might be able to find a video or a photo. Let's just insert a Just Dance 2022 box art photo. I don't know what to put in, so I'm just absolutely. I don't know. So, what we're going to do first, we're going to put in the image or the video, the background that you can have in there. Then, we're going to put in your extraction on the top right here, video 2. Now, we just want to zoom out a bit. Alright. Zoom in a bit more. We want to make this. Um, just dance box art, the, the, the image or the photo, as long as the uh, the extraction. I want to zoom in a bit more. I'm just going to put the, the, the time on here. Oh yeah, you can actually use the arrow keys to uh, move frames if that's helpful. If anyway. <laughs> so what we're going to do next is for this, uh, this is a Just Dance 4 extraction. Now, basically, what we have to do, we have to crop the the the, the video so we only see um, the bottom bit, the 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 actual like mask um, thing. I'm pretty sure that's what you call it, alpha or something. The alpha, that's yeah, that's the alpha or the luminance. And we just got to crop it down to there. Now, my cropping, when I crop it and zoom it, I'll mainly be using the zoom in the position uh, uh, things in the transform ta um, tab. So, and this, uh, this setting, when I do it, will only work for extractions that are Just Dance 4 extractions, Just Dance 2014 and maybe 2015 ones. I'm not sure, but it definitely won't work with Just Dance 1 to 3 extractions. So first, what I've got to do, I'm just going to zoom it into 2. So as you can see, they're both 2. Now we've got to click this link button so it won't link together. We've got to make the Y position a 3. And then we've got to move the Y position down until it gets around there, the actual position is 1080 because this is actually a, nine, a 1920 by 1080 um, uh, uh, pixel bro uh, project so that's going to be like that and then I can just play it as normal it will just show the alpha there which is nothing special but yeah and then what we want to do is we want to create a duplicate of this. Now usually what you might do, you might just copy and paste it and then put it up to video 3. But a cool way of doing it is if you hold alt 
on your keyboard or option as it calls it on Mac. Go to Alt and then drag the clip up. It just creates a duplicate of it, so that's a really nice feature. Now what you want to do is uh, this is going to be, I'm going to be now displaying this bit. Now this is very stretched, so we're going to turn down the Y to 1.5. Then put this up to minus 270. So there we go. Then we can see that. Uh, just to say it won't enable. They're both practically similar. If you if you want to see if your um, if your mask is in line with the alpha, because they have to be in line exactly, uh, you can just chain turn down the opacity bit to see if it's in line perfectly. Mine's in line though. Mm. So what we want to do next is so uh, with this this thing up here, <laughs> the coach, we want to go yeah go down until you see composite mode in the inspector, and then click on composite mode. Now we don't want any of these. We don't want any of these. We want to click foreground where all these are. So foreground. Then for the the um the alpha we want to do the same except we don't click foreground don't do alpha don't do inverted don't do inverted luminance <laughs> that looks actually really strange <laughs> look at that but we do luminance so it's called lum and basically you just have it there uh, so it's a bit laggy also another cool feature if just in case you need a uh, see your videos in precise or just in case it's a bit laggy if you do shift K it will play your video in uh, slow mo so this is 0 0.5 times and if you do shift K again it will be 0 0.25 times so I'll just do as you can see I'm playing in slow mo here and it just works perfectly like it's actually perfect yeah so I um, hope you enjoyed this, uh, give it a like if it really helps you, I don't know any Just Dancers out there who actually um, edit their views using DaVinci Resolve because I'm probably one of the only ones, because most tutorials I see, I see oh, how to do it in a light motion, I have a light motion but it's just always very glitchy on my iPad and stuff so I don't use it too much. Um, there's a tutorial, you know, Sony Vegas Pro, come on, you have to pay for that. The Premiere Pro, you have to pay, but you can have a free trial, though. I was originally going to get a free trial of Premiere Pro since I couldn't, I didn't know how to do it in DaVinci Resolve before. But now I can do it in Resolve, so, yeah. By the way, this is DaVinci Resolve 17.3, if you were wondering about DaVinci Resolve. Uh... Yep, 17.4.3. Actually, I got that wrong. <laughs> so, uh, really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you can leave the video now, but if you want to keep on staying longer, I can explain the exact properties of how this works and how the masking works, because if you want to just stay for the technical bits. So, I'll see you later if you're going, but if you're still staying here, then I'll start to explain some of the technical bits. So, if I disable this track, this is the never gonna give you up. Uh, this is the this is just the the the, um, the top bit, and I have to change it to foreground since foreground. What does that do? Oh, that looks nice. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting a bit distracted here. Foreground is basically it's kind of like uh, if you think of the word background, foreground is pretty similar. You can also think of what is there? I think um, middle ground, but but background is basically the background. Like um, the background in this video is the Just Dance 2022 box art image. That's the background. And no, we don't need to set the composite mode to any background or anything. We just can can just keep it like that. Um, and the foreground is basically the, the image in front, or the video in front, which is our mask. Now, the only thing is, it's just this thing.
which we want to actually um, use the the this is the this is the the alpha that only includes black and white colors because <coughs> the because the white background is then meant to because as you can see if I zoom in a bit sorry my zoom is very bad um sorry I don't know if you can see that but if you zoom in a bit as you can see the outside of the body there's a little bit of a glow to it and that's why when I mask that it it makes the it kind of like puts the white it gets rid of the white and then it puts it in front of the the extraction and then basically it just does it like that and then you can see the glow like exactly how it's like here I could have had a better explanation for it same with all the dust and everything so if you check out on this one there's a whole lot of blue here and it's very not smooth but this is like all smooth perfect basically that's what the mask is about yeah and if you're don't and if you don't know, if you if you're not, if you're not really knowing how to use DaVinci Resolve, or it's a bit tricky for you, then maybe you can use something else like iMovie, for example, at the bottom here. Um, because iMovie, although you can't mask coaches, you can actually do green screens. So, although green screens are a little bit best, obviously. You can still search up, let's just say, never gone. You can search up, a, search up a, no, not that one. <laughs> well, if you really wanted to, you could use this. It's not actually just dance. We don't want actual regasly. Oh, something like this. The, 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 the worth it extraction. I'm just displaying it here. So although this is only a short one, you can then use it, and then you can just simply just um, uh, get rid of the, the the green background using the uh, using the um, background removal, the green screen tool on iMovie. Yeah, and yeah. So that's probably the basic thing, but if you want to get a bit more into this stuff, you can use DaVinci Resolve. Also, DaVinci Resolve, you can use, you can make a green screen as well. There's actually two ways to do green screens. One in the Fusion tab, where if you do, I'm just going to go shift space. Um, you can use one of the keyers, I can't remember what it's called, the Delta keyer, to key out the, the green screen. Or you can use the Color tab for something else. I think that's going to be the end of this video. Um, hope you liked it. And uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.